Well, meantime, the Indiana Sports Corporation bolstering its statewide sports tourism efforts by assuming leadership of Sports Indiana, formerly a not-for-profit association for Hoosier sports tourism representatives throughout Indiana. The newly formed partnership is called Team Indiana, and around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman has details. The Indiana Sports Corp was the very first organization of its kind in the country. Founded in 1979, its name recognition alone grabs the attention of some of the biggest sporting events in the world. From the 1987 Pan Am Games to hosting the 2012 Super Bowl and the upcoming NBA All-Star Game in 2021, which will all help lend itself to luring a wide variety of sporting events to smaller communities outside of Indianapolis. And that's precisely what ISC plans to do with the formation of Team Indiana. It's an opportunity for the state to become even more aggressive in attracting sports tourism to the state. You know, Sports Indiana was formed in 2008 really as a, a, an independent association designed to kind of elevate the nature of sports tourism. But as time has evolved um, and that industry has changed and grown, the needs are changing and growing. So for Indiana Sports Corp, it's a great opportunity to you know, take our expertise, take our relationships, take our infrastructure, and really help the entire state by, by leading this new effort. The 22 member destinations that now make up Team Indiana range from Fort Wayne to Evansville. Last year, under the Sports Indiana name, these same members contributed nearly $20 million to the Hoosier economy. I think now that we're aligning with ISC uh, in a much different way, it gives us the, the means and the opportunity to kind of really reset the organization and launch forward as we look at the future. Um, ISC is one of the first, first sports commissions in the country. Um, that brings a lot of credibility that we can then now leverage and take throughout the state. Through this new partnership, Team Indiana is hoping to give even more communities an opportunity to tap into a billion dollar industry. We're looking at doing a lot of NCAA championships, ASA softball events, but they are all tourism drivers for the state. So they all bring people into the state. They stay overnight. They go and eat in our hotels. They buy gas and all those different things. So they're economic generators, just like the Super Bowls and the Final Fours, just at a different scale. Indianapolis alone will generate upwards of $350 million in 2021. And through Team Indiana, ISC hopes to build awareness of the economic impact sports tourism has on Indiana's economy and the potential to build on that moving forward. And by launching Team Indiana and having a national presence uh, led by uh, Indiana Sports Corp, we can hopefully attract more events to come. Um, we can represent more communities when we're at these conferences or when we're dealing with some of the relationships we have across the country with the Olympic organizations or you know the NCA. You know, we've had pretty tremendous impact uh, as an association, but I think we could take it to the next level now. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.